bust that up, break that down. All right, let's just keep exploring. By the way, where am I? Um, I am still in Red Rock. I'm just in a section I didn't know existed. Oh, there's boots over here. Leather boots, that's what I have. Um, all right, I'm gonna uh, light the fire and then we can choose ingredients. Well, I can cook from a recipe, right? I, I need, um, looks like I need star apple jam, which I don't have. But I can do, choose ingredients to cook with. I can, like, cook with, I don't know, vine wafer and bear jerky. And I toss them in the pot and I eat the meal. You start to metabolize the meal, gaining the following effect for the rest of the day, which is whenever I drink fresh water, there's a 25% chance you get plus 33 max HP for one hour. That's pretty good. Interesting. You know, got a little buff for myself by eating my bear jerky. Oh... If I still have an apple, I can preserve it to get the jam. Great, let me check on that. That's kind of cool. Um, now, where, let's see. I don't think I have an apple anymore. I think I wish I had an apple. Alright, let's try to get into this treasure chest if we can. Uh, a basic toolkit sounds okay. I don't want that armor. Too heavy. Now I'm all wet. Now, what is this thing? This is a horned chameleon. Nah. You coming at me? Don't do it. I mean, you can, I guess, but... Got it. We killed that horned chameleon. That's right. All right. Um, let me see. Yeah, we're going to swim, and let's just kind of go down here. And what is this? Is this a skeleton? Yeah, wet bones. Man, somebody didn't make it. Okay. All right, let's go this way. I'm going to take Tom's advice. I am going to see if I can just follow this river back to um, Joppa. Oh, there's something down there that's trying to fight me, apparently. Okay. Now, what is this? What is this thing? This is a eyeless crab. Oh, okay. Well, that isn't good. Killed it. Uh oh, where are you? Mark. It is the Snapjaw Warlord. Surrounded by warlords. Alright. Okay, let's keep going down this way and see if we can make it. You know, there's a lot of bad guys here. Um, let's see what you got. Bucklers. Oh, Bernoos. No, actually, I have a cape. Never mind. I have a cape. Very nice cape. I'm proud of my cape. Now, well, something's down there that wants to fight. Boy, you still won't let me down, though, huh? Alright. It's tough. It's tough going. What is this? It's just a, a light? 
This is a really interesting area. I've never been here before. Are you hostile? Well, I guess there's an easy way. Yes, you are. This is like a graveyard? What is this? This is a shrine to Umasup II, spouse of Stetothus Aprosiorus. Okay. Um, just look at it. All right, cool. We got some information. I guess we could pray at it. Does it do anything? All right, I don't know. Maybe it did. Hey, don't fight me in here. This is a cool place. You don't gotta be like that. Um, boar skin gloves. I do like gloves. Oh, look at this. This bookshelf has two books. The Illuminated Knitted Sleeve That Warms. Uh, get it. And then the Batals to Oblige. Um, so this is must be information about uh, those, like, orb things. Man, look at all these bookshelves. Whoa. Now, some of these, I never know if these are the randomly generated books. Hey, Space Cookie, what is up, my friend? Um, this game, I am playing it on PC through Steam, but I don't know how many different systems it's on. Yeah, the ruins seem to have good loot. I mean, look, just these books. So some of these books, I think, are r random, but then... Um, but some of them are fixed. You'll be able to... Fading, you're saying if you try reading them, you can tell which ones are, like, legit, and then which ones are, you know just random text generator this looks like it's actually giving me clues to a location but I don't know if that's accurate or not <laughs> that's a, a pretty good way to think about that alright let's see we got um, what are you you're the snap jaw brute alright well be a brute There's nothing in that. Aw, we behind behind two doors was a chest. I thought for sure there was gonna be treasure in this chest. And you know what? It was empty. It looks I mean, Tom, I could be just wishfully thinking, but it looked like some of those books had instructions on where to find some hidden items, but I don't know how accurate that is. Now, I will say, this is a hilarious thing about the game. I slipped on some slime, and I collided with the wall. Ouch. Embarrassing adventure mishaps. Alright, so we got some more lore. We'll fight this scorpion. These things are actually pretty good to fight. Um... Where'd you go, Scorps? Uh-oh, wait, that's a gun turret. Now that is definitely harder. This is a friendly... No, wait. No, that... Yeah, the musket turret, I don't want to have anything to do with. I hope it doesn't shoot me. Yeah, it's trying to shoot me. I, I might need to abandon ship at this point. The turret could cut me down. Um, I can see if, like, perhaps, you know... Did somebody kill that turret? It's not there anymore. Hey, there's lead slugs, though. I could get my, my rifle filled back up. Okay, so there is the, um... The enemy we were talking about before which is the slumberling, but it's just asleep, so let's not mess with it. 
you'd go back. What if I go up? Now, what is this disaster? Okay, amoeba, amoeba. What are you? You're just a wet glowfish, but you're neutral. And that is a urchin. All right, so. Now, I don't like this. This is weird. I don't know if it ran out of power, but it's not attacking me. Oh my. What's going on here? Mm, I don't like this at all. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I'm getting surrounded. I need to move up here and go back here. And just kind of go over here. I need to get my bearings. Alright, we healed up. This amoeba is ridiculous. We killed it. Alright. I don't know if exploring this area is wise at all, but I'm kind of just doing it. You cannot light that bloody, slimy campfire remains while they're in the pool of 467 drams of bloody, dilute, brackish slime. Now that's a lot of information. Apparently it's covered in blood and slime, and you can't light it. Hey, hit it. Get out of here, you guys. Uh-oh. Well, it's a uh, beetle. But the beetle is not hostile, so we can just kind of walk... Oh, but this guy is hostile, right? Yeah. Dead. Snapjaw warrior, gone. I wonder if I can ever see, like... Oh my. This is getting really diabolical. Let's see, what you got? This is... A knoll worm, a wet cannibal, a wet snapjaw warlord, and um, a centipede. I mean, I feel like, I don't know. I don't know where I am, and I am having fun. I'm under the ground, right? But I'm four strata deep. I need to go up. But I don't... I'd love to be able to see the overworld map in some capacity. I mean, this is ridiculous. This is like enemies just all over. I'll fight him, but man, this is a lot of stuff. Yeah, you see that my electro bow, the, the cell is finally registering as very low, which means I'm about to run out of batteries with my weapon, which is effectively the way that I do damage. And so I think I need to bail. I think I need to go back out even though I'm not sure where I am, um, I just can't run out of ammunition here and expect to make it. What is this thing? This is a thirst thistle. Okay, let me get the slugs and let's just bail. I, I wanna keep looking, I do. There could probably be awesome treasure here, but there's an iron buckler. Well, that actually seems better than my the regular bucklers. Can I examine this? What is this? It's a pump shotgun. Nice.
When you say my RNG, Tom, do you mean just like really, really difficult enemies or the fact that I haven't been able to get back to Red Rock yet? Uh -huh. I'm going to drop these boots. Drop that. Alright. I'm going to wear my mask, by the way. COVID protection. And... Let's see. I'm at... Eh, my weight is... Very, very close to too much. Oh, who's this? It's an... Um, Arconaut. Oh, can I talk to you? Lots of good stuff down here. Lots of bad stuff, too. Let's trade. Ooh, cool. He sells bullets. And he's got, like... He's got some stuff. All right. I'll buy all your bullets, first of all. Do you want to buy... I made a, a killing in books down here, at least. Um, would you like to buy a Nullworm Skull? I will sell that to you. Do you have anything good? You have a revolver. Interesting, but not huge. I'll take your um, copper nugget in exchange for um, these moccasins. So take the books there for experience is what you're saying, Fading? Live and drink, dude. Oh, there's a bedroll. I'll take that bedroll. You know it. Oh, there's a turret. That's scary. Okay, I gotta get out of here. Turret means bad news. Ah, yeah. I got hit by, by that turret. Oh, you wanna fight? Okay. I mean, we can fight. I, I'd prefer not to, but whatever. Alright, I'm gonna get out of here. It's been fun, but I don't want to lose just yet. Alright, take me up. Well, actually, no. Let's go to the next screen, and then take me up. All right, no stairways leading up nearby. Oh, we'll find some. Apparently I picked something up, or maybe I just got wet. go. Here we go. Up one more. Up one more. Find that staircase. Take me out of here. Get me home. And take me up. I mean, all in all, very successful. Like, we're almost level 8. And... Oh, look. We can see Tarkamish because of the lore that we got. And here we are. Back in Joppa. Dude. I found bits of gnawed water vine and I slew a white spiderling. I carry its corpse with me. Um, what a hideous thing. Take it to the Elder as you say. 
Elder, look what I did, dude. I returned from Red Rock with the corpse of a pale spiderling. Would you examine it? What's a Gershling? My god, man. There was a rabid black-robed figure with the Gershling. Yep. Live and drink, dude. You were, So we got the injector, a weird artifact, a salve injector, a salve injector, and a salve injector. And we get 750 experience. And our rep just went way up. And look how close we are. We're, you know, 80... No, we're 73 experience away from leveling up, which is tremendous, right? Um, and let me then say we got all this rep. What's up, dude? Let's begin the ritual. Your reputation with the Fellowship of Wardens has increased by 100 to minus 50. Um... Oh, I am favored by the villagers. Uh-oh. The village of Tesh. No likey. Um, yeah, let's name our Electro Bow. Um, choose a random name from our my culture. And we name it Uigina Lalius. Choose a color for it. Alright, well, it's an Electro Bow, so we can make it gold. Um, what's up, bro? Alright, end. Okay, that worked out, sort of. And, um, let me go talk to the trader. Alright, and let's trade. Okay. So, one thing I think we would like to do is just, um, can you... Uh, I'm gonna sell these moccasins. And you want this corpse? I don't need it. Oh, I, ha I have a full chemical cell? I forgot about that. I just have backup ammo. That's awesome. All right. And then let me just go in here. You can have basically all of this stuff. Just everything. I don't need it. I appreciate you having it. You'll love it. It's very good. Um, you can have my wooden buckler. And, uh, okay, so we have some things that we could sell. But right now what I'd like to do is talk to this guy about any cells that he might have. Okay. All right, let's look at this. So I think, um, let's see. That's going to be a grenade, I bet. But let's just do it anyway. And then we could buy chain boots. It'd be an improvement. For our shoes. Um, he does not have any more slugs. Which is a bummer. That's a bummer. But he does have a star apple that we can buy. And make that food. Okay. Um, I'm going to buy the boots. All right, and then I'm gonna go into my inventory. I'm gonna shift over here. I'm gonna change over from my crocosins to um, these chain boots, get myself a little bit more armor class, and we're going to um, replace the cell with the full cell. And then I will go ahead and move over here. And then what I wanna do is go back to my inventory. Now, I have this cell right here, right? How do I, like... I wonder how I recharge it. Is that even possible? I'll have to figure that out. All right, let me see if I can identify any of these artifacts. Examine... It's a flaming walking stick. Um, that's pretty cool. And then... It's fix-it spray foam. And then... Oh, was that what all my artifacts were? No. And it's a freezing bronze longsword with no cell. Ooh, let me look at this. It's five accuracy, one dice, three. 
but it does cold damage if you power it. I mean, if I look at my actual weapon, nah, my steel longsword is just better. It's more accurate, does more damage. It's too bad. Okay, well, win some, lose some. Uh, I'm gonna see if, I'm gonna store a bunch of stuff in one of these chests. I've done it before, I'll do it again. Let me just close that door, and let me... I'm going to put stuff in that's heavy. So I'll put the crocusins in there. Um, you can also have uh, this, like, walking stick and this long sword. You can have my shotgun. For the time being, you can have this iron buckler. I don't think I need it. Okay. Then I will transfer. And now my encumbrance rating is a little bit better. And I need to go to the six-day stilt. And I can turn in these books and get experience. And I might plan on doing that. I also need to get the 200 feet of copper wire um, from the rust wells, which is something we can completely do. But we will have to get into that next time, as it is indeed my bedtime. Everyone, I want to thank you so much for tuning in, hanging out, playing some Caves of Cud. It's been fun as always, and we did die, but hey, that's part of the game. We got a new character, and I feel really strong. I mean, I feel like we're just getting more and more knowledge, and it's really, really helpful that you guys have shared so many tips with me. So... Um. Oh, okay, Brew. Brew, Fading, Tom, Crowen, Space Cookie, Jordan, Crispy Bacon, Enon. Rua, everyone out there, Harry is gamer, have a good night, take care everybody.